We're here at ITU in Geneva and I'm very pleased to be joined by Minister John Nasasira, who is Minister of Information and Communication Technology in Uganda and a proponent of ITU and various disaster management and sustainable development efforts. Minister, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much. Now, Thanks. today was the first advisory board meeting for the ITU-led Smart Sustainable Development Model, SSDM, initiative uh, and you were chairman of the meeting and That's I'd true. like to ask you why be part of this initiative and what does SSDM mean to you? Well um, part of this initiative first of all by the invitation of the director of BDT of ITU uh, who is the leader in starting off this initiative of course together working with the Secretary General and the ITU uh, management and uh, it was up to ITU or the director BDT to invite different personalities in the individual capacity who have been involved in one way or another in the industry. And I uh, happened to have been invited. And when I came today for the first board meeting, uh, I was uh, nominated and endorsed as the chair of the meeting for the next two years, of which I'm extremely happy to be. But it's, it's also a known and challenge to see how we drive this board of SSDM for the next two years. And what does the Smart Sustainable Development Model mean to you? What it means really is if you look at the way uh, we have been dealing with the ICT, you've been having ICT for development, social development, uh, where you build an infrastructure, it's ICT is used for business, it's used for education, or e education, it's used for health, it's used for communication. Uh, in my own country, Uganda, and in many parts of Africa now, it's used for banking, what they call mobile money, uh, on one side. And once in a while, whenever there is a disaster, there is an alarm, I would call it an alarm, uh, Red Cross comes along, some NGOs, some government support, and sometimes even the army. And then you get companies coming to support, uh, like Iridium, many satellite companies. They bring, especially when the disaster has destroyed the, IT, the, the ICT infrastructure, then they bring in satellite phones and so on. And they use ICT for communication, for response, for rescue, and for managing the disaster separately. But the whole initiative is to ensure that you link both ICT for development and ICT for disaster management, so that you use it sustainably in that even part of that infrastructure that you can have for disaster management, you can use it for other areas of development when there is no disaster, and when there is disaster, you can turn it around. So that people and countries are always disaster prepared as far as ICT is concerned, rather than run around. Uh, we have had situations of disasters where people flew in with all sorts of equipment and so on. Some of it was not compatible, that's what, and this delayed. And uh, today was the, the first uh, advisory board meeting. Yes, I wanted to find out what were the elements on the uh, agenda, what were some of the elements of the agenda, and uh, in terms of uh, the board, how were they addressed by the board? Well, as you know, this board consists of both government leaders. We had a number of ministers. Uh, including myself and my other colleagues, a minister from Jamaica, a minister from Thailand, the minister from Japan who was supposed to come and Singapore. They sent delegations, uh, people that represented them. And then there is the private sector. Uh, most of the satellite companies were here and other industry leaders. There is also government organizations or international organizations like the Red Cross and so on. So it's a board of about 19 people picked and invited from different areas, but all for a common purpose. So initially, as the first board meeting of the start, uh, definitely we started with introducing ourselves. We had to know each other. Uh, some of us didn't know each other. And then our main agenda was what we call the visionary dialogue. This was start of this initiative introduced by the director BDT with his staff. Look at targeting this for smart sustainable development uh, model and see how we can make it happen. And we think we can make it happen. So we spent most of the morning session discussing, getting different ideas. And we sort of consolidated these ideas into few thematic areas. 
uh, there was the issue of infrastructure and new technologies. There was the issue of policy and regulation, and later maybe advocacy. And then there was the issue of how we can make business models out of this in order to achieve that smart sustainable development. And finally, I'd like to ask you, what measures do you think can be taken to guarantee the success of this initiative? This initiative will su succeed for a number of reasons. First of all, all the people that were invited came voluntarily. We are all here as volunteers because of our concern of how to address disaster using ICT. Secondly, these are experienced and knowledgeable people. And thirdly, the way we have worked out our program, we have now divided the board in three main areas of as working groups. And uh, using ICT, we shall continue communicating using different platforms and uh, discussing these working groups. One group will deal with infrastructure and technology development or the new technologies that are there. One group will handle uh, policy, regulation, and advocacy later. And the last group will look at different business models and, uh, and funding. And these groups then partly is to sensitize uh, the people. Secondly, is to influence policy at national level. Uh, and, and thirdly, is to see the capacity that we have. And this infrastructure, also the, how robust it will be to see that it's can, some of it can sustain in disaster. And where it's not, what are the alternative uh, infras what alternative infrastructure we can use, like satellite communication, and so on and so forth. Now we've committed ourselves to go and work with these working groups. And we have worked out an action plan. And we expect to have another board meeting in the next five, six months, this time with the vision clearly laid out. And that's how we shall move. Well, I wish you the very best with the initiative. And, and thank you very much, indeed, for being with us today, Minister Sarah. Thanks very much, Max. Thank you.